Well, the legal dispute between the Mather Inn and Cognition Brewing in Ishpeming continued today with testimony from the owner of the Mather Inn. TV6's Nicole Buckman has details on this ongoing district court case. Mather Inn and Cognition Brewery Company both feel the other owes them money and have taken this issue to the court. Since the original court dates in July, the case continued today bringing another witness to the stand. Mather Inn owner Robin Baird claims as of January 31st, Cognition owes Mather Inn $44,000, a corrected amount after a formula error. Baird's testimony continued to pinpoint when a 3500 credit was never received, utility bill problems, and claims on how rent was consistently late. I would have to go down and, and pick up the rent check. Um, it did not come to us um, by the mail um, or, or be delivered to us. So if, if we didn't go get it, it wasn't coming. Baird claims she initially didn't want to charge Cognition with the late fees and interest and says the 44000 was being lenient with the owner of Cognition, Jay Clancy. I had had conversations with Jay and I told him, I said, if you're running into trouble, you need to come to us and talk to us about it so that we can figure out a solution. Cognition's lawyer Glenn Smith questioned Baird's fairness and leniency after reminding the court when Baird barricaded the entrance to the brewery with snow in February. Do you think it is fair to expect Mr. Clancy to be thinking in his right mind on February 1 regarding renewal after he's been locked out and he has found a barricade? in front of his business. That's a yes or no. Yes. Smith also made clear that Mather still hasn't paid a 4,700 check for work to Clancy Electric. The bench trial is expected to continue on to tomorrow. Nicole Buckman, TV6 News, Marquette.